Most people who suffer a sprained ankle recover fairly quickly without any invasive treatments, but would peptides or other regenerative treatments like PRP, stem cells, or exosomes have a role in speeding healing and recovery? My name is Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. Now it's tricky, first of all, to know what the role of regenerative treatments, whether it's something like peptides, which may not be regenerative in the sense of necessarily getting the ligaments to heal, even though there could be a role, or something like PRP or stem cells or exosomes, when you have an injury that the vast, vast, vast majority of first-time ankle sprains go on to heal, really, no matter what you do, they just take time uh, for that ligament to heal, whether that's wearing a brace or wearing a boot, some people just wear normal shoes, and then working to get range of motion back, working with a physical therapist to get balance and proprioception back to get back to sports. Could, though, something like peptides, BPC-157 or thymosin beta-4, help those ligaments heal faster? It's hard to say. They've never really been studied for that purpose. There are some animal studies showing that they are helpful in tendon healing and Typically, the composition of a tendon and ligament is very similar at a microscopic and at a cellular level. So in theory, maybe self-injecting BPC or thymus and beta-4 near the area could be beneficial to help it heal. Again, that typically happens on its own. Uh, also, though, maybe those two are adding even a human growth hormone releasing peptide like a CJC-1295, maybe to not just strengthen the tendons and ligaments, get, but get the muscles around the ankle stronger so that they can support the ligament. It's, again, possible that that could be beneficial. Like I said, the peptides have never really been studied for that purpose. And again, as I say in a lot of these videos, I just answer the, do these videos because so many people about ask me about regenerative treatments for all kinds of injuries. And that's why I wanted to do this. But everything we're talking about in this video, whether it's peptides or the regenerative injections like exosomes or stem cells, even PRP, considered experimental by the FDA. I'm not promoting them. I'm not telling you to do them. This is not medical advice. I just want to put information out there so you can have a little bit better of an idea if that's something you wanted to pursue, and if so, then you go talk to your doctor and see if he or she would help you do that. Now, uh, as far as the regenerative treatments for the ankle sprain, again, PRP, exosomes, stem cells, potentially there could be a role in helping those ligaments heal faster. I would expect, and again, it hasn't been, they haven't been studied for that, but I would expect if they're beneficial, it would be after an acute ankle sprain one, especially a primary ankle sprain, rather than somebody that's got chronic instability of the ankle where those ligaments have just been destroyed with recurrent ankle sprains, maybe there's a role there in getting those to heal. I don't know, quite honestly, even if that was true, that you could prove that something like exosomes were going to speed ankle sprain recovery healing those ligaments faster, if it would necessarily be worth it other than maybe at the pro sports level where it makes a big difference if an athlete gets back in two weeks as opposed to six weeks or four weeks instead of six weeks, something like that, where there's millions of dollars on the line, millions of dollars being lost with that player sitting on the sidelines. For most people, again, because these aren't covered by insurance and you're paying cash typically for it and a lot of money in a lot of these cases because these technologies are very new. Uh, it's just, I, I don't know if it would make a huge sense. I don't know that I would consider doing it for an, a first time ankle sprain because I'm not a pro athlete. I'm na not making millions of dollars to do videos and to see patients in my practice. So probably doesn't make a huge difference if I heal and return to weightlifting in three weeks instead of six weeks, but everybody's different. I just want to put this out there as something to talk about because so many people ask me questions about whether it's peptides or exosomes or any number of things for healing injuries. And one I've gotten a lot recently is would they help with ankle sprains? So I'd love to hear your experience with your ankle injury, if it's an ankle sprain, or if you've had PRP or exosomes or stem cells or used peptides for an ankle injury. Leave those in the comments below. Just understand, I can't, if you leave a question, I can't give you medical advice in response to that. But what I typically do, as I did here, is I try to answer that question in a future video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, click the bell to be notified when I release a new video, 
and when I start my Ask Dr. Geyer live shows, my live streams. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.